Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for April 28th of 2022, well, it is titled Lyrid of the Lake. So what do we see here? Well, we see the lake with some trees in the foreground, and then up above in the sky, we do see our Milky Way, and stretching through the lower right portion of the Milky Way is a meteor, and this is part of the Lyrid meteor shower. Now, the name of the meteor shower comes from the name of the constellation from which the meteors appear to radiate, and it can be difficult to tell with just one meteor, but you can see the brighter portion portion of this one and how it points back up the tail points kind of back up to the upper left hand side and that would be the constellation of Lyra up over uh, off off the image a little bit and you can kind of trace that back now when you can see multiple meteors from the same shower it's a lot easier to trace back where that radiant is and the radiant point is because meteors are all traveling together through space when we have a meteor shower. They all come from the same source. In this case, it is a comet known as Thatcher. And that comet left debris behind in its orbit. And as Earth plows through that material, the, some of it strikes the Earth's atmosphere and is vaporized. So we can see smaller smaller ones as just little shooting stars. Larger ones such as this are sometimes called fireballs when they're a little bit bigger and brighter. It would take a much larger one to actually have something big enough to be able to survive the trip through the Earth's atmosphere and reach the ground. Most of what we see as shooting stars are tiny bits of dust or grains of sand that easily vaporize in Earth's upper atmosphere. Now, a meteor shower occurs regularly, and in fact, each year, and the lyrids occur in the later part of April, and that is when Earth passes through the debris left behind by that comet. So each year, at around the same time, we will pass through the same cometary debris, and therefore, we'll have a meteor shower. And in this case, we're looking at just the one meteor, uh, the nice thing about meteors, you can certainly plan when the meteor shower is going to be at its peak to get a nice image of it, but you can't plan any specific uh, image to have a meteor because they are completely random when they happen to strike Earth's atmosphere. So we can't plan to get one in a specific location and catching it exactly where it is is just a matter of when that small bit of debris happens to strike Earth's atmosphere and becomes visible from your location. So that was our picture of the day for April 28th of 2022. It was titled Lyrid of the Lake. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be a springtime appetizer. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.